Hey, how's it going? Well, I've been making some progress on the locomotive this week, so come on in, I'll give you an update. Well, this week I've made good progress. It's all about mechanical and electrical systems. So I've got the chassis transition from a tether control, a long wire, which I didn't like, always tripping over it and was always falling on the ground and things like that, over to an actual hands-on control on the locomotive. So this is the throttle bar here. It swings out, swings back in, to find a good position. This is the speed. I've got an auxiliary horn here and a light switch. I've got the wiring going up the pipe. And because this has to be convertible, the top has to come off, I put a union in here so I can split this bar and then set it down inside when I'm traveling in the truck. And this galvanized pipe makes a nice sturdy bar that I can put my hand on and not worry about breaking it and snapping it off. So that controls the speed of the locomotive. Whether the locomotive goes forward or backward is controlled by this uh, imitation of a Johnson bar or reversing lever. So this, in a real locomotive, this controls the steam as it enters into the cylinders. And so this would be forward, this would be back, and this would be a very lean position, not a lot of steam in the center position. The expansion is doing most of the work on the steam. But to get the locomotive started in reverse or started forward, these are the two positions. And I have a toggle switch hooked up down here so that it's basically telling the speed control to go forward or backward. This is a voltmeter that gives me an idea of the condition of the batteries when I'm out running. I can decide, well, is this my last trip for the day or not, or do I need to recharge the batteries? And I've also got one fun thing here. I've got an auxiliary horn here, but I also have this. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. What do you say I fire this thing up and you can watch it run for a few seconds? See you guys later.